Hello, welcome back to Open Everyone. You know, always inviting you to get social with us. That's right. Tweet us at Bronx Head TV and tweet me too at Rina Valentin. So the Bronx Council in the Arts is uh, celebrating all, all things women with their new exhibition through a feminine lens. And the artwork uh, captures and or is made by women exploring the themes of equality, race, immigrant perspectives, and motherhood, uh, subjects uh, of our times that involve women. So joining us to share more behind the exhibition, we welcome director and curator of BCA's Longwood Arts Gallery, Juanita Lanzo. Hello, Juanita. Hello, Rina. Thank you so much for having me here. Always. Good morning. Always, Buenos dias. always doing amazing <laughs> work. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Especially for us women. <laughs> Thank you, of course. Us mothers. <laughs> yes. The, the tambien, right? <laughs> yes. we're, we're kind of a little informal because, you know, she brought her son and my daughter's here. They're all from school. School is over. And that's yeah. it. So the, the kid artists have to float with the artist's Thank parents. Thank you for letting me have my kid here. Absolutely. Thank you so are you much kidding me? It's a beautiful thing. I Thank mean, you. here yes. you are doing this wonderful work at Longwood, curating mm -hmm. these amazing artists. And, you know, my first question to you is, how do you choose your curations? Uh, okay, so um, um, I got inspired for doing this exhibition. For one, I've been working with women of color um, for 12 years, but um, I met the Bronx Women Photo Collective, actually, th this is a couple of years ago, and got I got involved with Bill Aguado in doing a uh, photographic essay for the Nueva Luz um, exhibition, and I originally was working with the Bronx Women Photo Collective. However, um, because of the transitions we've been doing and my own schedule and their schedule, that exhibition didn't work out. I've been inspired by their mentorship uh, work. Um, one of the Bronx Women Photo Collective members is a mother, too. Um, Lisi Alejandro, Sandra Dalla, it's the mother, and Raina um, Santos. Santos, yes. Raina. And mm -hmm. you know what? So because that exhibition didn't work, I wanted to continue to work with photographers women of color, I, I was inspired by their mission and vision. And I said, hmm, you know something, if I cannot work with them, I would love to identify seven other uh, women photographer of color working and living in the Bronx. That was very important to me. And I been following the work of this woman and I was able to put an exhibition uh, within the next six months. So, um, yeah. Yeah, no, no, it's great. It, and of course, uh, the political re relevance is even greater. Yes. Do, that's why I'm asking, right? Because yeah. the timing is kind of interesting. You know something? Yeah, for us and in the Bronx, like you, we've been working with, I mean, the norm for us is to work with women of color, Latina. I even have um, one of the artists is, um, of African descent from Nigeria. Um, and, you know, I'm thinking, you know what, but I've been working always with uh, people of color, women, the LGBTQ community. So, um, you know, by following the work of these artists outside, you know, following through the city, I was very fortunate to secure seven of them and work with them. So that was very inspiring to me. Okay, and so uh, they are all from different walks of life in yes. the sense of what they're capturing are different aspects of their womanhood. Yes. Yeah. All right, so let's talk a little bit about that. So for instance, um, there's portraiture, which um, is covered by Gloria Zapata, Maria Esteves, and Idioma Iannaccio, uh, the, the three photographers. There's also the uh, culture, immigration, and um, in particular, um, uh, um, national origin with Melanie uh, Gonzalez, Adeline Lulo, and a little bit with, um, oh my God, Mel uh, blah, 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 Adeline Lulo. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, <laughs> you know what, we're gonna look at some images so maybe yes. we can uh, share a little more insight mm -hmm, mm -hmm. about the, the, um, the photographers and uh, artists. So uh, let's take a look at that. Yeah. So what are we looking at right here? So um, um, this is a work of Gloria Zapata and Gloria works with portraiture. And one thing that I love uh, about her work, it's, and, and, uh, and of course about the work of all these others, this is uh, Krista David. Um, wow. She actually comes from uh, public health research and mm -hmm. in particular race equity and how access to healthcare and healthcare um, services affect women and people of color in particular. Um, she works with collages. Um, and beautiful. I met her at the um, AA3A space that Blanca Mescua runs in the Bronx. So um, I've been following this woman, like I mentioned before. I like how their lives are also involved in, in advocacy and activism in the Bronx and outside the Bronx, working with immigration. This woman where their immigration identity or their immigrant identities mm -hmm. in their sleeve and in the work that they do. So to me, that was very telling. I think we have some more because I see you're looking for more. Uh, so uh, the next image. Oh, this is um, the work of um, Lisa Dubois. Lisa also runs Gallery X in Harlem. Um, she also showed with us for the Bronx Africa exhibition a couple of years ago with um, Iyoma Iannaccio. Um, also, um, gender stereotypes are challenged here. I know that we have a lot of women photographers, but 
I don't feel the work is recognized enough. That was another uh, something that inspired me from the mission, ambition of the Bronx Women Photo Collective. So that's why I'm sticking to working with women. And we also had that with the previous exhibition we had along with this um, spring. I know we have like so, two more images. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see if they, they'll pull them up. Yeah. There. There we go. This is a work of Maria Esteves. Maria actually um, um, study here at Lehman College, the art department, uh, but she's also a very good, um, an exceptional photographer, in my opinion. Um, she explores motherhood and female, um, the construction of the female beauty and conception. This is about her children, um, which are now almost teenagers, but this is in her early years. And it, you know, I love it because you can see all the objects and, and exactly. but also the, the dynamics of like just mm -hmm. the layers and and also the you know because there's a child involved is kind of like mm -hmm. there, there's something representative of like when you kind of measure a child's height yeah they're growing <laughs> yes and all these well, other that's my layers. interpretation I'm yeah. Like, oh, I, yeah okay I think we have one more and you know mm. what another um, thing that oh and this is really striking this is by Adeline Lulo she's also a real winner Bronx Council on the Arts. Um, grantee and also an Enfoco fellow. Um, and I just fell in love with Adeline's work. She's documenting the Dominican Republic, the town of Moca in particular, where her family's from. So again, many, you know, you're gonna see how this goes over and over from different perspectives, but this is um, who these women are, their excellent work, and I just wanna highlight that and so share So how that many with images of each one will, will be on display? I will say that um, most artists have about six images. Uh, Ijoma has an installation in the project room space about um, um, conceptions and stereotypes about uh, the black body and the black woman or woman of color in particular that we all can relate. So many of the artists have at least um, six to seven works in six the exhibit. So, okay, so I, you know, I, I've studied, I've, I've visited on numerous occasions your style of curation. So I, I just wonder, like when you walk in, what is the journey that one would take as they're walking and, mm -hmm. and visiting each wall? Well, the first person that greet us, greets you is uh, Krista David with two women holding hands. Then you have Lisa Dubois with um, w water rituals in India. You have Adeline Lulo with her um, photographs of um, her family traveling from the United States to the Dominican Republic. Then you have some religious imagery by Lulo and by Melanie Gonzalez. And then you have um, um, a beautiful landscape, urban landscape and botanical gardens by Melanie Gonzalez and uh, the portraits of um, Gloria Zapata, which have collaborated with Bio and with um, Crash. From the Bronx. Oh, nice. So, yes, that's, cool. that's how awesome. I met her at Woolworths. Very so cool. Very you see, cool. it all, all all of these ties in together, yeah. and I think it's another. Again, I believe this is a great opportunity for people to come to Osos Community College, visit the art gallery, and um, I'm, I'm just very excited. We're about excited this as well. And so very it's happy. on display for how long? It's on display until um, August 8th. Um, we're closed on Fridays, but I'm open Wednesdays from one to 8 p.m. So I would love people to come and visit me. Beautiful. And I'll be very happy to give them a tour. And I'm sure you greet them with open arms. Thank yeah, you, Juanita. Like Juanita. No, my pleasure. For Thank you so much for work. having yes, me here. No, so. for giving us a voice in that mm -hmm. realm. Thank no, you. of course. All right, you guys, <laughs> once you. again, through a feminine lens exhibition is now on display at the Longwood Art Gallery, which is located at Hostos Community College, located at 450 Grand Concourse, room C190. So the summer hours are Tuesday and Thursday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Wednesdays, 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Plenty of time for you to go view. All right, so stay tuned because Bobby C's Weekly Sports Roundup is coming up next.